Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another video episode on the Forgotten Weapons Library. I'm Ian, and today we're going to finish up our uh, extended look at the Luger pistol. The book we have is The Parabellum is Back, 1945 to 2000. And this covers, of course, what is up till now, the last chapter in Luger production history. So this was written by, and I apologize in advance for butchering these names, uh, Mauro Baudino and Gerben von Vlimeren. Um, they are Italian and Dutch. And there, there are two primary focuses to this book, and that those are uh, the French production of Lugers at the Mauser factory right after World War II. Uh, the French occupied Overdorf, where Mauser was located, and simply, for a while, had the, the workers continue making firearms, including Lugers. So there are a number of French-produced uh, Luger pistols out there. Uh, and then the second main focus of this book is the, the later 1960s, 1970s, and on uh, reintroduction by Mauser of the Luger Parabellum pistol. Uh, that was originally done for a U.S. contract, actually for Interarms, who thought there would be a, a good market for new production commercial Lugers. Uh, and the gun control laws that had recently been, been introduced in the U.S. in the late 60s applied to surplus military arms and not new production commercial ones. So a brand new Luger wouldn't be subject to some of the, the restrictions that had come online. Uh, anyway, let's take a closer look inside and you can get an idea for some of the details that this book covers. This is a fairly hefty book at uh, just over 550 pages and chock full of good color pictures. So let's start the initial section, of course, the initial main section is on French production uh, Luger pistols. And so we have some look at the specific numbering systems that they used. You can see here the, uh, the little star by the serial number. That's a, a known French uh, military marking. You see that on other guns as well, besides just Lugers. Let's see. We have some discussion, for example, of the Luger in French service in places like Indochina and Algeria, which is an interesting footnote to history. Um, in addition, there was military and police, well, police use uh, of the Luger. In addition, there was use of the Luger by East Germany, and so they, of course, did some of their own production and refurbishing, and there's discussion of that. And, of course, the, the, the really the biggest section in this book covers uh, the, the modern reintroduction of the Luger uh, for the Interarms Company and made by Mauser. And there is quite a bit of coverage of, of the whole story behind that production. And that is a, a real interesting story. It's uh, so a little teaser. They, the Mauser Company started out, they didn't have any of their own dyes left. So they actually went and purchased dyes and, and, engineer, and an engineering package from the Swiss. And it turned out to be mostly useless. And uh, you'll have to pick up a book like this and, and read it to find out why. There is, and then uh, a section in the back with photographs of some really intricate, interesting Lugers, pictures of blueprints that were used. Cool stuff for a collector to flip through. So, in addition to the, the first set that we looked at by Sturgis on the development of the Luger, and then the book we took a look at last week on the interwar uh, Weimar production of Lugers by Simpson, uh, The Parabellum is Back, gives you the third chapter in the story, uh, post-World War II and modern production of the Luger. And I uh, think you'd really enjoy reading through it. Uh, as with a couple of the previous books we've looked at, this is published by Simpson Limited, and there will be a link below where you can pick it up directly from them. Thanks for watching.